Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Paul here from PA Brew News. Oh, move some stuff around. Put some light on the situation. Here we go. Ah, she picked me up a little treat. I'm gonna uh, share this one. Fudgy Fuzzy Slippers. Cheesecake Brownie Sunday. You know, I might be the only person in the world that doesn't like cheesecake, but I'm also the only person in the world that doesn't like a lot of things, like tacos. Not into them. Nachos? Not into them. I'm weird like that. I get it. You do you, boo-boo. But, yeah, cheesecake is not my thing, but... I like chocolate in big old Imperial Stouts, and this is an Imperial Stout. Let's see what this is. This is from the Burley Oak Brewing Company from Berlin, Maryland. Imperial Stout with cheesecake, brownies, ice cream, and caramel. 11.5 alcohol by volume, so definitely in that nice vegetable category, and I'm assuming, I mean, you'd classify this as a pastry stout, so there you go. Blue tab on this one. Oh, yeah. There's buttons. The buttons are here. It is that time of year where the bugs come. Something came out of this beer that is the weirdest damn thing I've ever seen. Look. Look at all this stuff that came out of this beer, and it's like chunked. Full chunkage. Look at this chunk. There's chunks on the top of my beer. Look at this. Dude, that looks kind of disgusting. That looks like disgusting. <laughs> Let me get another glass just so I can verify what's going on. This is weird. Okay, <laughs> it just looks like something that you like you set in the sink for a long time and you forget about it. That's what that looks like, chunkage. Yeah, there's plops. It's plopping in here. Okay, we need to stir it up a little bit. Look how filthy that glass is now. to this one and try out this one. Look at that. It's not Dirty Glass Mafia. It's stuff stuck to it. And look at that head. It's just stuff. It's like when you get done racking a beer off and uh, bottling it and you're left with all this stuff at the bottom of the container. You're not technically supposed to bottle that and sell it to people. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the part you throw away. So, I'll give it a go, but this just seems like a complete fucking mess. Alright, anyway. It smells like, it's, it just smells like uh, hot fudge. It, just fudgy fudge. Absolutely. 100%, I'm not going to lie. Taste. There's chunks, the particles and chunks that go in your palate when you're drinking. If you have a weak stomach, you're probably not going to like that. Most people would want to automatically spit, you know what I mean? Like, so, probably not the best thing in the world to be putting that in your beer. It, seems, it feels like I have to run it through a strainer. And not because the beer quality, the thickness, I'm talking about like the chunks of stuff that you're, hit, you're getting hit with. Okay, the beer, the body of the beer, it tastes, uh, the feel of the beer reminds me of when you take Hershey's syrup, a little bit of, when you're a kid too, when you're, you're in charge of putting, you're making your own chocolate milk and you just overdo it, it's like that. So the body's nice, the overall experience, but the experience that I have to deal with to get to that body is unpleasant. And I'll say that as, a, as an overall consumer, I think most people would find that unpleasant. Um, but the beer does taste exactly just like hot fudgy goodness. Uh, the body's good. The um, just the overall experience to get to go is 
less than desirable. I mean, this, let's take a, a, a book out of the culinary page in your, in your fancy dinners. Presentation is 50% of the art, if you know what I mean. They have to like it when they eat it, but it has to look good when it comes out. This doesn't look good when it comes out. That's fucked up, dude. I mean, if I had a GoPro, I could really show it to you, all this. Look at it. Yeah, I, you can see the chunks of shit that are just in this thing. And just, wow. As good as this might taste or smell, look at all the chunks on top of that stuff. This isn't getting drank tonight. I can guarantee it. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, like, ugh. yeah. I mean, it tastes good. I mean, I'm not even gonna try any more of it right now. I'm gonna go and stop the review and. From what I've tasted, it tastes nice, the body's good, everything like that, but just to get through this cavalcade of shit that you have to like, you know, sifting a cesspool to get through to the good stuff on the bottom, I can understand that, but right now I'm just going to stop the review, I'm going to say this is a complete novelty, if you want to try one, buy one, only one, it's 10 bucks a can, which is way too damn expensive, 11.5 is fine, it tastes nice, it smells like, but you have to get through basically like a, you got to heat... It's like drinking a coffee, but before that you have to literally chew on a pound of grounds to get to it. I mean, that's not, it kind of ruins the experience a little bit. So, there you go. I'm going to give this one a solid score right now because of the all that. Um, and it's not like something that's dissolving in your mouth. It's, it's, it's chunky, it's nasty, you don't even know what it is. And honestly, doing that, it should have, if, if you can't have something dissolve into a nice haze, like a nice milkshake IPA or even a Belgian beer, that kind of thing, if you're left with fish food and coffee grounds and all this shit in your beer, something's wrong. Uh, you got you to do something better. So other than that, yeah, uh, I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'll, I'll just throw it in the solid category. I'm not going to shit on it too much, and I'm going to try to filter this thing out, uh, probably get some... Uh, motor oil filters, run it through there, see if I can get some of this crap out of it, and I will try it later. Anyway, this has been Paul Fabrian, bye-bye, watch that finger, woo!